G'day everyone, welcome to Organic Power. This episode is all about our off-grid battery bank. Our off-grid battery consists of 16 200 amp hour lithium phosphate batteries. I have four batteries in series. And those four banks of batteries are then connected in parallel. That parallel circuit then feeds back to the 48 volt battery MCCB isolator. Each of the four battery banks has a constant current of up to 200 amps. Therefore, there's 800 amps in the entire circuit with four banks joined together. And 48 volts is the voltage of the parallel circuit. To make sure the batteries are kept at the same voltage and the system remains safe, I have a battery equaliser. There is one battery equaliser per eight batteries. These equalizers can have one battery in parallel with another one on each of the leads into the unit. The battery equalizer circuit runs from the unit down into a fuse block. That fuse block has a 10 amp fuse protecting each of the cables down to the first bank of batteries. From there, flow down into a second fuse block and this protects the bottom set of batteries from the top set. So if there's ever a problem with uh, either of those banks, those fuses will blow and disconnect one battery from the other or the equalizer unit from the batteries. In a series circuit, voltage is added. So we have the four 12.8 volt batteries. That voltage is added together this will give us our 48 volt bus. The bus actually runs at around 53 volts when we're at 100% and the system is beginning to discharge in the afternoon. 55 volts is my bulk absorption mode and 54.2 is my float. Once the four series circuits of the batteries are connected in parallel, the voltage will remain the same at 48 volts, but the current will quadruple. There's 200 amps in each of the banks. Times that by four, there's 800 amps. The battery bus is protected by a 320 amp molded case circuit breaker. We'll take a look down the power shed now and have a look how it's all physically wired together. If you like these wiring episodes, make sure you give us a thumbs up, tap that like button. Also subscribe to the channel. This will help spread the information to a larger audience and really supports us. So thanks to everyone that's gotten on board lately. We're over a thousand now, so I've started to release some of the members only content. The more subscribers we get, the more content I can release. So thanks guys. Here we are in the power shed. Got the 15 kVA system. And here's our battery bank. Two banks over this side. And then another two banks over this side. It's got the battery equalizer in the center there. There's the fuse block that protects the equalizer from the battery system. And this fuse block protects the bottom bank from the top bank. I have 15 amp fuses in this fuse block protecting the two banks from one another and 10 amp fuses protecting the equalizer. These equalizers are rated to 10 amps per input so that's the fuse we've got in there. So I've got a terminal post fuse up on the positive 
a series connection running between the batteries then off the end another fuse and this is where the parallel connection is made this cable here runs straight down to the bottom bank and so does this one and then down the bottom another set of cables runs back through links up with this set that set of cables runs through links up with this set there's another parallel connection like this either end of that bank and then those wires come through and feed onto the bottom of the MCCB From there, the power feeds up into the 45200 and also across into the inverter breakers. And from there, the inverters are fed. So that's the battery circuit, pretty much from start to finish, including that equaliser circuit. Nice simple way of doing things. Very little fuss. And pretty much bulletproof. Here's a look at the system operating. It's the 20th of May. So nearly winter time. 9.47 in the morning. I've got my hot water heating and the wife's working in the hair salon. So there's a little bit of load on the house. No problems there, still getting nearly 100 amps to the battery bank. The PV inverter there is the AC coupled Fronius unit. Take a look over here at the VRM. You can see the different arrays there. 150-35, getting 700 watts. 250-60, 2,100. Input one on the 450-200, 2,200. Input two, about 2,000. That combo east-west unit on the shed. It's a great unit, that one. Combination East West, 1875. And then the westerly there, another thousand watts. You see we're getting 1,284 off the Fronius. And the total solar at the moment, 11 kilowatts. The hot water is on a timer. That comes on at nine o'clock. It's plenty of punch in the panels then. Plenty of juice to get that water nice and hot for use in the salon all day. Once that turns off in say half an hour to an hour from now, the batteries will use all the power to charge. So no problems today. Plenty of power, nice and sunny. Even on cloudy days, we've got plenty of juice. We'll just have the batteries charged here by 10.30 today, I'd say. If I click on the PV inverter window, here's the Primo, five kilowatt. I haven't got many panels connected to this yet, so it's still a work in progress. If we click on the PV charger, It's all my DC down in the power shed. So 100 amp hours consumed. So it's half of one of my battery banks 
there's four battery banks to complete the entire bank. So 100 amp hours is half of one of those four banks. So we're nearly full. There's the AC loads. And this is the triple multi plus system. 15 kVA, three multi pluses in parallel. That was just a quick overview on the computer, of the system. The system has been running flawlessly. It's got about a 3.8 year payback period. So in three and a half years, I'll have my money back. I outlaid a bit of cash to set up the system. But with today's power bills, it's gonna pay itself off very quickly. Now that we don't have a power bill, we actually consume about $1,500 a quarter of power from the off-grid system whereas when we're on the grid and being fairly tight with our consumption we got a bill of $879 so that was the last bill before I changed over to off-grid and now uh, we can use power when we want how we want without the shock of that bill coming in Here's a graph of the solar production from the system since installation. 13,572 kilowatt hours. I've pulled up the calculator here. We can work out how much that is actually worth. So 13, five, seven, it's just clicked over to 574 times 0 0.32, 32 cents a kilowatt hour, 4,343. So since August, the system's already paid itself back $4,300. So it's uh, well worth investing in. I don't know if there's many more safe investments that pay back this much. This is the reason I went down this avenue. It's pretty much a given. That wraps up the battery equalization and wiring episode. Thanks everyone for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Give us a comment. Let me know what you think. And tell me what you'd like to see next. All right guys, take it easy. We'll catch you in the next episode.